And I serve a, a small congregation that in some ways is thriving and in other ways is struggling to survive. And I know you came from a diocese of small congregations. Can you talk a little bit about your vision for that 60 some odd percent of us that have fewer than 100 on Sunday morning? Thank you. I think we're in a season of rapid change. Uh, it's certainly that's what your bishop talked about this morning. I think the future of the church is going to look significantly different, at least in terms of the, the kinds of congregations we see around us and the kinds of gatherings of the faithful we see around us. Uh, we're, we're past the days of Christendom, which expected you know, a congregation of 100 people able to support a full-time paid cleric. Uh, we're, we're in an age when we have to be a lot more nimble. We have to be traveling. We have to be willing to go on the road. And I think it's going to mean that we're going to form congregations or faith communities in rather different ways. I think they're going to be centered in places where the people are. Um, maybe gathered in homes, maybe gathered at Starbucks, maybe gathered at the athletic club, maybe gathered on the soccer field um, to give the parents something to occupy themselves <laughs> while, the, while the children are playing a game and learning, learning a number of other useful skills. Uh, why haven't we gone into those places? Uh, I think we're moving in a direction like that. And it, it's going to mean supporting those ministries in significantly different ways. Uh, it's going to mean uh, using priestly gifts um, as priestly gifts and not um, for producing bulletins or, you know, shoveling snow. Uh, it, it's it's going to mean dispersing those gifts where they're needed. Uh, and not simply fixing them in one place. Uh, we don't know exactly how that's going to happen. We're going to figure it out as we go, I'm sure. And this church has always been certain that the gospel calls us to contextualize it, uh, to be able to speak it in language understand it of the people, as the English reformers said. It's going to look different. On any given Sunday, in Raleigh, Cary, you can find soccer fields with a thousand children. Okay. On Sunday, as, you're, as we're driving to church, we drive by soccer fields loaded with children. Mm. 